Oh, Jay Nova. Sing. He said sing. Sing. Right. Sing. Right. Hello there. What up, y'all? JR Sport Brief. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Something like that. And then. Be here. Tig is here. Mommy Tigger in the building. We here. What's up, mom? We giving away a free pair of tickets to the dungeon. Dungeon. I'm coming. Woo! The dungeon oh, is oh. next weekend, right? I'm October nineteenth. Yes. And so here in Atlanta, um, it's here in Atlanta at the Coca Cola Roxy on October nineteenth, and um, in New Orleans on October twentieth. But we're giving a pair of tickets to the dungeon in Atlanta right now. So call up if you want to. And don't look at me like that because I'm tired. Okay, I went to sleep in my makeup, so I'm looking real great. Are you ready? Can you do that? <laughs> oh, my my mic's too loud. Hold on, for the camera. Hey, Danielle. Oh. 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 Are y'all ready? No. What are we doing? Okay. Oh, the calling. We're doing live. From Memphis, I see. Okay, let me see. Let me see you right there. So, Latavia from Fairburn. All right. Oh, you don't need these for Good morning, Latavia from Fairburn. Hello. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Stop playing. Stop playing. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm late. I'm having. I'm about to have a bomb week. Hey. I'm ready to come back home after my trip and celebrate with you. Oh, so we're going on a trip, and then you want to turn up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming up. I'm turning thirty. Hey, oh, hey, dirty thirty. She definitely needs to be at the dungeon if okay, she's about but, to hit the dirty thirty. Yeah. Yes. Well, then you call the number ten. You in? <laughs> Oh, Better yet, hey. what are you going to wear? Yes, what you gonna wear, girl? See, I don't know yet, y'all. I, you know, I'm a little spicy, so oh. <laughs> just wear a couple stickers. It's gonna be nice. Wow. Okay. Well, Latavia, happy birthday. Happy birthday, girl. Thank you. And tell me what station put you in the dungeon. The morning culture on B one hundred and three. Hold on, mom. Stop calling the time out. I know. Why are you all putting <laughs> up some time out? So, let's see what the people are saying. People I need to know what Candy's vice is. Is she all drinking? What's my vice? What is your vibe? Sex, clearly. Yes, yeah, she said sex. Uh, I wanna say, I'm gonna ask you that on air. Who we'll do maneuvers like Super Dave? Why do we have to have a vibe? Everyone has a vibe. Everyone has a vibe. Everyone has a vibe. What is my vibe? What about drinking, smoking, or like what is my vibe? Uh, Jerry, you I drank. So, I smoke. <laughs> no, you did a bad one. I smoke. 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 And let's say their advice isn't sex. Could be shopping. Coffee? What would it be? Could be shopping. Could be coffee. Oh, I definitely, it ain't shopping. Okay, no, I hate to be in a damn mall. Could be working out. I'd rather pay somebody to go get it. Please figure it out. Uh, um, working out? Um, that's definitely not it. <laughs> <laughs> you said you can't. Um, that's okay. You play small. Oh, okay. Everybody's saying I lost weight. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Let me see. You are what happened? Why are you so <laughs> Oh, working. I think my vice should be working. Working? Does that count? Yeah, because I work nonstop. Like, I constantly, like. She work like me. Boom. She like, I work me. She always work. You ain't, you, you. What you mean? You know what I mean? Fuck you mean, huh? Fuck you mean. Fuck you mean. What's up, people? Thank you. Luckily, my work is usually full. Yo, this is not Hello, people. I ain't got no okay, everybody, post your advice right now. What is your advice? What is your advice? What is your advice? The fun vice is the shit that gets. Shit that gets you in trouble. Oh, food! Somebody oh, said food. Yes, good. my vice is food. You can't be That's filling people's vices. No, no, they, it was one of my fan pages. They must know me. They, they know said, you. She they said, You love to eat, and they ain't lying. I can't, it's like an addiction. I be, I be trying. They ain't lying. They ain't lying. You know, girl, you was right. Oh, what? Yeah, you Googling the vice definition? Okay. Hey, friend. What's up, Josh? No, this is not the same. Oh, wait. It says immoral or wicked behavior. Ooh, what? Ooh, oh, immoral or wicked. I didn't wicked. know that that's what that meant. A weakness of character or behavior. A bad habit. A bad habit. Yep, that that's would be weakness. Overeating. That would be me. <laughs> 
So why would sex be advice then? Because that's not a bad behavior. Be moral, you fuck over here and you go that way and just this way and that way. Come on. She got everything going on. And a boo. What else are you doing? You got a man, sis. All before you say. I mean, you. Yeah. I don't necessarily think sex is advice. I don't think sex is advice. I think sex is an innate thing. Everyone says. Sex can be advice. Why can't How? I get the when? Oh, wait. <laughs> Sex well, can be advice. I have many advices. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying it, it okay. can be. Oh, but wait. What did he say? What? This starts rehearsing. Okay. This is what it's taking. Terms, conditions, and um, Sex can be, but I don't... Sex can be, but just like sex it, isn't it, it, a vice. If sex is your vice, does that make you an addict? Made from natural gas is 99. I think I'm slightly yes. addicted myself, but my point is... Uh, uh, my, I have seen you come into a situation <laughs> with some peoples. Get us the tea, Candy. I have seen you with some peoples. Listen, what are you seeing? Oh! Don't be trying to call me out. I would never. That's not my way. Oh, stand by, stand by, stand by. 819 with the big logo. Saucy in here. All right. Candy versus, I guess, this morning we're talking about her upcoming Welcome to the Dungeon Party. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to the dungeon. Whoa. And this is the perfect month for that. You know what I mean? It's the perfect time for people wanting to, um, you know. Get dressed up. Yeah. Mm. Be out of character a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Be That's a, little... a Saturday for me. <laughs> really? <laughs> Apparently Good. it's Friday well, too. Well it's well yeah, exactly. Well actually it's on a Saturday, so hey, you gotta be, be ready. Yeah, well, let's come up with my stick. And and then Plaza's yeah. gonna be there, so maybe he can do the sweet mm. sweet shit. Hey. Hey. I'm so good. <laughs> Latavia, good morning. <laughs> oh, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm late. I'm, oh. I'm about to have a fun week, and I'm ready to come back home. There's a cat right there. There's a cat right there. Okay, oh, you're going on a yeah. trip, and yeah. you want to turn up? Oh, my God, Julie Andrews. I love her. I wanted to be here when I was little. Oh, um, so what's up? She's about to get the dirty dirt. Hey, y'all. Not well, then. You're good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We just gave away a pair of tickets to the dungeon. And I suggest if you're in Atlanta next weekend or if you're in New Orleans, that you do show tickets. Because you do not want to miss this show. This is definitely one of them shows that it's like if you go, you're going to have a lot to talk about when you get back to work or to your friends the next week. You get to be you know, let let loose for for a night. That was orange juice, by the way. So that was a usual be over here. Oh, uh, look! So I was, I was sitting here. She had Jade Nova. Hi. We was uh they were you know celebrating the stuff, and they had what is that champagne and juice? Yeah. So is that mimosa? Mimosa. Not, you know what a mimosa is? I, yeah, I said mimosa. I said it. What about a king? I said mimosa. I said mimosa. Okay. So it just slipped my mind for two seconds. Okay. So anyway. Um, she was like, on? you don't drink? I said, no, I don't drink. She says, oh. Like, I did. I'm like, I needed sympathy. That. Like, poison. I'm not encouraging poison. It's, it's early. No, it's you're encouraging. I was. <laughs> I said, Candy, do you smoke? She said, nah. She said, oh. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Wish me Shad. What do you Shad. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. LA changed me. Is that what happened? Uh huh. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, no, no, I mean, no, I was always. Exactly. Like, happy. He so knows. Don't me. say it, it, yeah. it changed. And that's why I was like, what? It might have liberated. You lived out there for a long time? Yeah. It liberated. It, it liberated me. That's liberated. a good one. Mm. So there is no dungeon. What you mean? In real, real life? Yeah. Oh, no. Aww. You thought there was? In the bottom of the house? In the bottom of your house? No. <laughs> no that was the whole thing on the show. I remember the whole thing. Yeah, no, 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 no. Tig, you got a dungeon? I probably should have been in that house. Yeah, you probably should have been in the house. I could, but I don't. I he said I could. But I don't. I literally have room for it. Because you, you don't got the babies yet. 
Oh, well, that's all the more reason why you probably yeah, should have one. You should have one. And so you can rent it out. Yeah, they. Do you realize they do rent them out on Airbnb? Like they have a place that rent them. Like you can rent dungeons. You don't want a wood. Thank you. What they've been doing there before you got there? What happens in the dungeon stays in the dungeon. I don't know. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Wait, what's wrong with Kalia? Kalia's clean. She ain't no bother. She keeps the dungeon clean. I know that's right. Hey, uh, Shani's from Jamaica. And Shante from Milwaukee. 823, 823 with the morning culture. Frank Ski, J. Nova, JR, and the people say, Shabi, 103, the ATL's number one, fifth, pop, and RB. Pull up on us at watchv103.com so you can see the beautifully talented Candy Burris eyes out there. <laughs> yes, living legend. Um, so I have questions. We have this welcome to the dungeon party coming up in, in Atlanta. Um, okay. Saturday, right? Uh huh. Um, we all remember the show and the, the conversation about the dungeon. Just for clarity, and I think you did. You, there is no dungeon. No, there's no okay. real life ju- dungeon. No. So, so but the, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just. Oh, oh. him disappointed. <laughs> No, basically, um, I just took, you know, the rumors that they put on the show. And at first, I was, like, all pissed and crazy about the whole situation. But then I decided, like, I'm one of those type of people who vent creatively. Mm -hmm. And so I said, okay, well, if they're going to say that, then I'm going to make the (laughs) best damn dungeon they've ever seen in their life. Yes. And I did it. (laughs) So now, at this Mm -hmm. dungeon, we talked about the variety of um, sensual and sensory experiences mm. that can happen here. Yes. Um, there's a, a, an, an obvious question, which just bears clarification. Are people allowed to bring their phones? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> the last time, the listen, the last time we didn't let people bring their phones, mm. which I think it made it like super cool because... You know, I think you should buy. Well, when we went on the tour, we let people bring their phones, and people got even wilder. Wow, it's crazy because I was showing thinking to myself, the showing the all the way out for the, the grant. grant. Like some of the stuff that, like, because I told you, it's very interactive, and yeah. we pe- we bring people from the audience on stage at different points in the show, and some of the stuff that they they do and they come on the stage is like, well, all right. I feel like there shouldn't be any fighting. You T- keep it T- private. T- trying to... No, but here's my thing. <laughs> what? You get to see the whole show. Yeah. Online. It's different every time, though. Oh. That's what's so cool about it. Um, last year when we did the show, I think um, Seven Streeter was our special guest. And, um, you know, it was a, you know, a big Wait, thing. Seven's outfit last year. But everybody's outfits are like that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Everybody's outfits are like barely there. Mm. Oh. So that's part of the cool thing. Like you get to see Tamar like you've never seen her before. Oh. You get to see Trina in a different light. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is wearing very yes. sexy, you know, over the top costumes throughout the show. And delicious. Now y'all know oh. this delicious body is crazy. It's crazy. And the outfit she wears. But anyway, even like we have so many other performers within the show, you know, um, Three the hard way. That's what we like to call them. Um, they all oh, the tricks they do on the poles okay. and all that stuff is just amazing. Okay. Like I wish I could do that. You, you know can. what I mean? <laughs> oh my gosh! Lessons and lessons for That's true. True. That's true. 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 You can learn anything. That's very true. Apparently, you win and you apply yourself. So I'm just saying. Yeah. We do. We can do anything. Yeah. 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 yeah, but um, it's just and then you know the DJ one, he's rocking the crowd before the show even starts. Everybody's like partying like crazy. Okay. Yeah. You know, you gotta just. Is it food and beverage? Oh, it's, I mean, the, the, the venue has. These questions. I mean, oh, who's going to be venue? eating in the song? Mean, they have liquor at the venue, oh, if that's okay, what you mean. No, that's yeah. not what her question was, which is a different question. What? what? You said, question? who going to be didn't what? I not anything. Said, who's going to be eating? Okay, next. Um, oh, this is a morning no, show. No, no, I was talking about you food. asked if there was food and beverage. Food. Today. We're talking about food. So, yeah, if there's food at the venue, who's going to be eating? What, what, if the, what if there's chocolate strawberry? That's food? exactly my point. <laughs> or liquid, liquor infused. You get started at the venue and then, and then you take it home. Yeah. <laughs> or liquor infused uh, pineapple. Ooh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you got some good ideas, I see. Yeah, Tig. I'm saying I could be a consultant. <laughs> As you should be. Approve the album. Okay, bedroom candy. I, I am here. Hey. <laughs> hey. Is it okay if I bring my handcuffs or leave them at home? 
Oh no, you can bring your handcuffs. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there a bedroom candy display or? Um. Yeah. We we normally have like bedroom candy consultants in the building. You know, so if you want to get some type of products or different things, yeah, they'll be. She there. has all the products. All the things. I give lots of her gifts. Yeah. He, you do. You can, do. Can I get gifted? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I I get, I'll, I'll can give you a gift. What do you mean? Not from no, you. No, no, I don't approve of Tigger gifting you. With <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'm not saying from him. I'm saying from Candy, Wait, the creator. <laughs> yes. What do you mean? I'll hook you up, girl. Thank I'll hook you, you Candy. No, I literally I'll like Candy. I'm about to order some stuff. Like, what is it? Like, she has, and every time I go, you have something new. Yeah, we have we have so many products now. Like, bedroom Candy it, when I first started it, it started off with just like one or two products. Like it's been a blessing. Like over the years, like I'm celebrating my 10 year anniversary of tags this okay. this month. Wow. Um, and then bedroom candy, it'll be I think 10 years next year. Wow. Wow. Yes, we had our seventh annual um, convention for our consultants this year. That's yeah. Dope. That's dope. So, yeah, well, I guess we're like eight and nine years now as a company, as products. But for the consultants, it was seven years. She does. She does. She does. Um, Candy's our guest this morning. Uh, Watch V103.com. Again, the dungeon party happening uh, a week from this, from tomorrow. Yes. uh, At the Coca-Cola Rock. Where can people get tickets and stuff? Welcome to the dungeon.com. Of course. Whoa. Get your yeah. tickets now. Welcome to the dungeon.com. And I'm telling you, please get your tickets now. And then this the other thing. People some people are like, oh, you know, if it's like the general um in the general admission area, mm-hmm. like, but I'm telling you, that's like a super fun area to be right. because you like can be right by the stage and mm-hmm. then we pull people from the area on the stage. And mind you, there are more games that you win money. Like I told you, we give away a thousand dollars to the best costume, but then we have like a money machine on stage Yay. at one point in the show and we give you the opportunity to come on stage and get the money how do you get the money only if i can put honey on you though oh because i was gonna say where do you put the money if you stick it to you oh (laughs) all right okay that's nice (laughs) it's it's fun it's fun i'm telling you it's fun i know it sounds crazy but it's like super fun fun For for clarity people i'm going Okay, I think we figured that out on the first break. <laughs> You're going to. Welcome to the dungeon.com. Y'all don't go too, uh, too far because I have more questions and we're going to talk about uh, some of her new stuff that she has coming up because, like she said, me and her are always working. Yes, we she's are. Got some new new that you probably haven't heard of that she's going to tell the world for the first time. In the meantime, in between time, 8 30, let me get you to the three things you need to know. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Again, for the that's not Maria Boy. That's not Maria. I'm so sad Maria's not here today. No. Mm. She's Maria Boy. Yo, she that says she's from Maria Boy. But she doesn't need to see me. Yo, it's Maria. <laughs> what? I, Maria. I wish Maria would have been here because she would have been like, oh, I'm going to the party. You know she would have. Maria is here. Excuse me, I'm Maria Boy. I'm going to get in trouble with this year. No, you ain't. Because there are a lot of people that come are, just, are there for the shits. <laughs> Like you know, and that's what's so cool. Everybody is a group. Yeah, it's just like having a group of people. You just have like a whole bunch of people in a room that are all there to have fun, have a good time. And then you got to understand it's like if everybody comes to a place dressed in a costume, they're coming to have a good time. Yeah. When you get there, nobody's having attitudes like, what you doing? What you? Because everybody's like, oh shit, look at their outfit, look at their yeah. outfit. You know what I mean? So it's. From the time you walk in the door, it's already. Yeah. I was about to say, what am I wearing? And I'm sure the costume people feel more uninhibited. I'm wearing the same clothes. My costume is gonna be. You better not wear that damn hoodie. Not the Falcon hoodie. Not any hoodie. No, don't do that. No, I'm gonna have one. What should I wear? You want to put on the smoke? Yeah, wear what you wear as a thing. I'm gonna wear my chest out. Wear my Teddy Pendergrass outfit. Put your. That's not Teddy Penny. Come on, young Teddy P. Do that. You should with my chains. Yeah, bring, wear a medallion. That'll that'll work. That'll work. Like another love hey. Hey. So I went to. I had to host a private. Hey, Patricia party from Atlanta. Huh? I had to host a private pool party this summer. Ooh, is that the one that ended up on the internet? No, I don't know oh. them shit. But it was a it was a person and it, like they were some yeah, person is a person. And I had no idea. I was the they were with the chicks. Oh, you but, thought that they were all innocent. I just thought it was like some cool, you know, like oh. invitation only shit uh-huh. as the evening went on. As the 
This is what's happening. Mm. What started happening? I remember I went to a party one time. <laughs> and a lady came out with a booty shot. Into the dungeon, man. <laughs> Let me find out. Yo. Yeah, see, why wasn't I invited to this party? <laughs> oh, and now that I'm clear, uh, there, there was a talk of having enough. I need to tell them about this. Because they were talking about having one. Another one. Mm. I, need to make, I need to make sure that they come. I remember one time I was in Vegas. Never mind, that's a bad story. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> What y'all doing, everybody? Good morning. They said, Diva said, Diva underscore Taj said, I hope this is in New York. We already did it in New York back in May. That one was crazy. You got to do a Harlem exclusive. Oh, New York? Yeah. It was crazy? What did you do? Yeah, that one kind of went haywire. I feel like the South will be more time. Uh, oh, Brandon J. What's up? He said, what's the difference between a dungeon and a basement? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> First of all, the basement got a cool up. It's not about the dungeon. Oh, wait, it's the, the sex dungeon. dungeon. That's the Y'all whole point of the theory. The However, the you the have it set up to a... live out your wildest dream. Okay, right? mm-hmm. It's a joke, really, guys. It's not a joke. It's more of a, just a good time. And if you've never heard, like, all my parties be lit. Like, no matter what it is, it's, it's always lit. Like, I don't never had no whack, but. Oh, you a May baby too? May 30th. Oh, okay, you almost made Taurus. <laughs> you almost made Gemini. Excuse me. Okay. Tigger. Yes, ma'am. Now, you've been to one of my private parties uh, before. Oh. Now, you don't say what happened, but did I, you have a good time? Absolutely. And I, I never recall anything that happens anywhere private, but it was an absolute amazing sensory um, experience. <laughs> <laughs> so please tell What's them the if I if I have a party they should definitely come. That's all I have to say. If you have a if I have a party or event they should definitely oh, come. No, no, listen. Anytime that Candy says we're gonna have a funny show, if that is an absolute happenstance, um, it is a memory worth making. <laughs> so you heard it from the man himself. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone said, "Can I go? If you're over 21, you can go." No, no, you know but she told y'all where to get the tickets. What? Welcome to the dungeon. Text me to fly, right? For this thing, because I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I don't remember. I was like, "Yo, when is the dungeon?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Jeff! I see you talking about why the. If were you never invited uh, You live in New York I came there It was like a big thing We did not call you I'm sorry We should have called you buddy But yeah No this party is going to be crazy I'm looking forward to the one in New Orleans too Oh that's a wild situation What you think about this Lizzo said genre is dead Do you believe that no, Which you mean because everybody's mixing into every genre? Mm-hmm. I genre agree. That no, says, it's not. So glad I never settled for a genre. A genre is. I dead. can say that I'm, she's probably right in that answer. Yeah. But I agree because you gotta understand that. that, like now in the lane that she's in, in that pop lane, you got rap, you got it, country, you yeah, got pop. That's true. Everybody's on Doing that everything. mainstream. Right, but everyone can't do that, so genre still exists. Everybody can do it, but for those that are able to cross into the blurred lane. Genre still exists for... She's black. Who's crossed over in her... Have you been to one of her shows? Right, she's crossed... She's been able to make it to that blurred line. Yeah, where genre doesn't exist. But... Her point is, had she just went into it thinking... Oh, you know, I'm black. I have right. to be urban. Exactly. She then she would not be able to do what she's doing. So I get what she's saying yeah. no, because it. they automatically tell you if you are black that oh, okay, you need to either be adult AC mm-hmm. or you need to go urban. Oh, yeah. That depends on your age <laughs> you or whatever. Need ratchet or you need to exactly. Urban. Or your R and B. You the know, yeah. they always telling you what you cannot do. Like for example, so if you go ahead and fall into that, then you will get like stuck. Like for example, into that. seven. Like, Streeter. She's R and B. But like where she fits, there's a, there's a constant thing with her. 
Like Seven's like my sis, so we've had these conversations. No, no, we are live. No, no, no. no, Seven's my sis. We have these conversations, but Seven's not like old. No, she's, she's young. Right. right, but sometimes she makes songs. Like it's the whole, like that song she made didn't, like it was, it was received better in urban than so it was in urban. Yeah. Right. And no, the song that's, um, the one with the sample? Before the I Do. That song. Mm. But like she was, has some really dope she has really records dope that songs. should have crossed. Right, but I'm so, but I'm saying there's a challenge in, in R&B in that regard. Like, for example, they're going to try to tell you right now that, let's say, for example, Neil's kind of old. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ain't that crazy? They put him in Urban AC now. But, but that's that's crazy. <laughs> crazy to me. He's not. Uh, and then, but which... But younger folks are listening to a whole... The question young is, how do you stay it's, in it's, that it's lane with genre that like, don't example, exist? Trey Songz. <laughs> you said what? Trey Songz is what about like, right at the edge. Like, he's teetering. That's what I'm saying. But he's not old. He's, he's not. But the, but the young, the way the music is moving, like the like the, the, the newer R&B. The so new way. The, the trap soul. The I vibes. It, I call it trap soul. Right. But the question is, how do you stay in the lane where genre doesn't exist? Right. It's not many of us yeah, who've right. been able to stay in it their full career. Correct. Some people be in it for a time being it's and a, then it's a moment. And then you realize, oh, okay, well, the people that's just gonna always support me are here. Mm -hmm. and this <laughs> is Remember my when song? like when dance music everybody was doing dance music? Well like four on the floor? Yeah. Boop 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 boop. boop, 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 boop. Yep, yeah, Rihanna. There's some people that, 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 that wave went by, right? Very good. Hey y'all. And now what you doing? Even even Nicki Minaj did something. Yeah, she did. Starship. Oh, she do. After that, now what? Well, I mean, that's my point. People it's, still it's, dropping music now. It's just a navigation. It's, 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 it's you gotta consistently it's keep hard. dropping yeah, to. I mean, yeah, you content is that. I mean, you gotta understand. There are some people who like. I mean, if we talk about our original OGs, you got like people like Diana Ross who. Right. No matter what, she's gonna have yeah. everybody's gonna be at her concerts. Sure. Beyonce is there. Beyonce, she's, she's always gonna have everybody at her concerts. Right. Everything, yeah. But then it's like of our younger stars, it's like who's gonna be able to make it to that world <laughs> and be able to stay there? Yeah. You know what I think I it is. Think you know, I'll tell you what I think it is. Tell me what you think it is. <laughs> okay. Well, in writing. I figured this out a long time ago. Give me the tea. I want to record this. Okay. <laughs> when you oh, yeah. are... <laughs> um, if you have a lot of mid and up-tempo records that are banging, mm -hmm. you can go into that world. And if you consistently put them out, you can stay there. The reason why I say that, if you look at the pattern, that is what Beyonce has. Most of our, you know, like when you come to a lot of African American artists back in the day in the nineties, they had a lot of slow mm -hmm, mid records, mm -hmm. and then you maybe have one or two or three uh, ups. Mm -hmm. But if you look at, like, say for instance, yeah. the um, right, if you look at, like, say for instance, started, you know, with a big crossover started with the No, no Writings on the Wall album, which mm -hmm, I was a book. Mm -hmm. It was it's a majority of up tempo records yeah. on there. Then every album after that has mostly mid and up records. It's only like one or two big ballads mm -hmm. and the rest is mid and up. Yeah. But if you look at other urban artists, they be having so many slow songs, so mm -hmm. many, but that it doesn't cross as much. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? No, it makes sense. But, and you got to consistently keep coming back to back with, you know, not really taking long breaks. But can and a lot of our urban artists though? be taking all these long breaks like they can and can they can't. Let me ask y'all a question though. People how, forget so quick. How do you do a bunch of up-tempo records as an R&B artist when now R&B, I'm not going to say R&B is well, dead, you, but hip-hop is all that if you want to stay way. an R&B artist, if you want to stay an R&B mm -hmm. artist, then you are only going to do what you've been doing as far as like a lot of slow, mid, because yeah. that's what works. You get what I'm saying? Right. But the people, artists who have a lot of banging, and I'm not just saying doing an up-tempo to do it. Like, I mean, single-worthy, up-tempo. I mean, it's hard to do. A lot of people don't even write great Give me an example of someone who's or, doing that right now, though. I'm just this. I'm Beyonce, really, I'm Rihanna. Well, Beyonce, they, are, records, they, they existed before this streaming No, what I'm happened. saying is, what, I get what you're saying, but what I'm saying is they consistently had a lot of great 
up tempo and you know mid right. ups. Agree. Yeah. You know, and they consistently keep doing that. Uh, they not well, allowing anybody not to a make lot their. Of doing it. That's what I'm saying. Now, that's, my that's point my is nobody's that's doing point. it. <laughs> that's like, if you think about, look at all. What are who are your favorite urban um, R&B or urban artists? It's, most of them have a lot more slow and mid sure. on their album. Yeah. Vibes. Except for the ones who are crossing. One Lizzo. Lizzo. Right. More ups and mids. Mm. Feel good records. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because people outside of us, they don't they don't want to be, a lot of them don't get a lot of the slow R&B. Yeah. They want to hear stuff they can dance to. For sure. And then something that they can relate to. It's easy, catchy hooks. Right now, I always say dumb hooks are what's working. Dumb hooks. What's a dumb hook? A dumb hook is simple and dumb. And they can, you hear it one, two times, you remember it, you know it. Mm-hmm. That's a dumb hook. When you make it too complicated, then it's like, uh, unless I'm the station all plays it all. all in. Yeah. Yeah. Right, here we go. Candy 105! Not 101. Oh, yeah, Candy. Candy dropping gems. I'm not done with Candy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Bow, 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 bow. bow. <laughs> <laughs> Heck are y'all doing with these ad libs? <laughs> we can make a whole song out of We pretty much good. Out all day long. And then just have Candy sing the hook. Yeah. How <laughs> y'all gonna make Candy work? We're not gonna make Candy work. Candy like working. Yeah. It's a to be with candy. Candy, don't like candy, don't you like working? Uh, yes. That's, that's uh, her vice. I love working. See? That's, it's my thing. That yeah, it's her vice. She's and working. I gotta find some balance, though, because, you know, my I family be balance. looking at me like, Listen, what's wrong with you, ladies? I don't even have a family, and I stink about you stink at balance. Stink at balance. Yeah. I but can you imagine good. having a family and trying to work? I'm trying to get better <laughs> than now before that happens. Oh, look at you preparing. Yeah. Good for you. We're going to applaud you, black man. I can't be the wackest golf clap. I mean, there's only two of us. What do you want us to do? Yeah, right. Bro, I wasn't going to clap for nothing. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Angry JR this morning. Yeah, there is, man. Uh, 844 Candy Bars is our guest. Watch B103.com. See in the We talked about the dungeon party yeah. happening a week from tomorrow at the Coca Cola Roxy. Tickets on sale now. Welcome to the dungeon.com. I'm so there. I'm so there. I'm so excited. We so know, there. JR, too. you going? Yes. <laughs> Instead of committing that you're committing to going. Yes. Okay, done deal. JR said he's going to have his chest out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> he's walking in at a different time than that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Candy, you have new you have new jobs though. I heard about kind of yes, so many bags. <laughs> yes, that's right. Candy. Um, yes, no, I'm super excited. I have just um, joined um, the shy. Nice. Hey. Hey. A what? recurring we like that word. Um, role. Recurring. We love a recurring it. role. Yes, I play um, Rosalind Perry. Okay. Mm-hmm. How was that working with Lena Wave? Dope. I love Lena. Super dope. Um, it yet well not yesterday. Day before yesterday, she was on set with us the whole day or whatever. Really? You know, yeah, yeah. Wow. And she was giving me a lot of great tips on you know what I need to do and what how I can you know nice. do my thing. Glow up. Yes. Glow up. So I oh, we've oh, well I've finished um, two episodes with them so far, okay. and I'm going back next week to nice. do some more. So I'm gonna be back and forth to Chicago for. A while. Congratulations. That's a yeah. dope show. I'm looking forward to yeah. that. Oh, I can't wait till y'all see it either because yeah. it's not like, you know, sometimes I feel like in the past, you know, I've had a lot of um, different parts on different things, but I feel like sometimes, you know, it's just like, oh, okay, they just did it to say, oh, Candy was, you know, here so you could promote it or whatever. But this is like an actual, like, real dope role. You know what I mean? Every time they let me do something, I'm, I'm kind of mean. No, I never, I never oh, accept like a cameo. I never accept anything Almost. where somebody asks me to play myself. They, if they, they ask me to, you know, come on, I won't do it like I was because I want to be taken seriously. And, sinners, and then I wasn't originally supposed to be me on Star, which was turning Wait. into a recurring role before it got canceled. Yeah, and just then it turned into be me and me. Yeah, and then I, I won't I'm not do it. Mad at it, but yeah. I, I want to be. I told, I told somebody, I told Will Beck, I was like, make me a crackhead in the movie. Huh? I actually played, it, it's a movie called Never Heard, it's on Netflix. I actually played a drug addict, and oh, I, I feel like I did a very good job of it. Well, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I, I'll show y'all a picture in the break. Was a crackhead? Yeah, it was, it was crazy. Yeah, I, it was crazy. But um, I 
I really wanted to be taken seriously. So anytime like people were asking me to play myself or just do it, I'm like, nah, I'm Sometimes good. Sometimes they just give me the right bag, and I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. Take it. yeah <laughs> nah. Because like right now, I'm just at this point where you know I'm trying to elevate and take myself to another level, yeah. and it's you know you gotta yeah. figure out the right moves to be able to do so and to be respected at it, you know. Mm-hmm. And That's so no more being myself. Well, I mean, it depends <laughs> on what you want. Like if you really want to be an actor that's really doing it, right. you know, then, you know, you have to make decisions on what roles you'll do. That's so. What? <laughs> Don't say that. In yeah. a movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> In a movie. It's going to be a thing. So listen, we are ultra excited for you to do that, uh, the shy, the recurring role. Yes, yes. congratulations. Thank uh, you. Let's see, the old lady gang popping. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, over there on uh, Peter Street and inside the stadium. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, and on Camp Creek. Yes. And on Camp yes. Creek. Me, let me not forget Camp Creek. Yeah, we got Island. more coming next year. Okay, uh, bedroom candies. Bedroom mm-hmm. candy, candy coated cosmetics. Ooh. Candy. Yes. I did not know about this. Yes, okay. yes. And I then. Not, I don't have any on. <laughs> you don't wear makeup? No, no. How does your skin? It's so beautiful, though. Thank you. You're shading. Me. No, I'm not. Uh, Why do y'all and for real? It's a compliment. Thank you. And then um, <laughs> tags. Oh, it's our 10 year anniversary for tags. Yeah, uh, we've been in business 10 years, so I'm really proud of that. Candy, you just a walk in business. It's amazing. I know you win. Congratulations it, to you. I mean, Thanks. you're killing it. Thanks. Thanks. I'm just trying to keep it going, man. Just keeping it going. Yeah. And then we got a baby on the way. The baby on the way. Oh, That's wait, okay, right. Wait. Yes. Yeah, I wasn't gonna bring that up. Why not? Yeah, she brought it up. She I'm brought it up. I, you know, I hadn't even just, really talked about it. This is my friend, so I, you know, sometimes I don't just for the rah rah. I don't go in people's business, but since you done brought it up, mm-hmm. uh, exactly. why did I do that? Okay. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> explain because yeah. you look really. Uh, nice and thin right now. So the baby on the way. Explain. Oh, we have we have a surrogate. Really? Um, yeah, last year on the show, I think you know that we touched on the fact we were considering it yeah. and thinking about it and working on it, and it's not we. Is it making me nervous? Is it I mean, yeah, of course you're okay. nervous through the process, but. Um, Call me, so I guess you want me to shut up. So that's all I'm gonna give you. She read that. Everything is awesome. See, I was, it's I awesome. What are you gonna do, T. Bro? She did it. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Mm, thank you. Congratulations. Do you thank know the you. sex of the baby yet? We'll talk about it later. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. Yeah. Come on, woman. There's a special behind that. All right. There's a special behind the special. <laughs> and then a special on top of the special special. Hey, oh, okay, man. he called me to check me. Um, yeah, I'm not supposed to be talking about it. Okay, so, so let me show. <laughs> okay. I'm excited though, so I'll just leave you with that. About well, congratulations. Nothing's happening. Oh wait, what yeah. are you talking about? Nothing. 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 It was yeah. all a dream. <laughs> Back to the dungeon. Yeah. 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 Absolutely happening. Yeah. Uh, yes. Again, welcome to the dungeon.com. Uh, Tamar Braxton implies Trina delicious. Good delicious. Morning. Delicious. I wonder what delicious going to be with. Or not. Or not. <laughs> no, it's going to be something very sexy. Delicious. I can Are say we that. Are going together? Can we, go, can we pull up together? She's going to be in the she's show. Not. She's oh, like, working. Yeah, no, she's my co-host in the show. Nice. And we have so much fun together on stage. Like, you know, she's hilarious. I'm and just we... going to request several walkaways. <laughs> oh, you will get several walkaways. Definitely. <laughs> and then she can do a little twerk for you every now and then, you know. A little. Ain't nothing a little. <laughs> the dungeon is going to be a thing. It's Candy, a thing. Uh, welcome to the dungeon.com. Tell them how to find you, support you, love you, as they already know. But okay, um, everybody, thanks for all the love that y'all have shown me so far. I just ask it. Please, please, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Candy mm. K A N D I. Oh, this is the other thing. Ooh, what? I am nominated for Reality Star of 2019 for the People's Choice what? Award. Okay, yeah. I need y'all help. Now, first of all, <laughs> you know, I, I halfway didn't help. even want to talk about this because it's like you know others, st- uh, other people who are nominated in this category okay. who got like 40 million followers and stuff like that. But we don't care about. So yeah. I, you know, I don't even know how I ended up in the same category. But for those of you who want to show me a little love, please go to peep. Um, what is it? E 
E online, yeah, okay. E online, and um, they have like the thing where you can you vote. vote. So vote for me, please. I'm voting for Kim. And then yes. also for the Real Housewives of Atlanta for best reality show. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Now this is a uh, one of those categories. I'm telling you, I don't want to say their names, but it's some like really big people in this category. Mm-hmm. So I need all the help uh, I can get. You Come on, are Atlanta. Really big people. And it's pca dot e online dot com. Pca dot e online dot com to vote for your girl Candy. Thank Thank you, thank you. Oh, and today is my daddy's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to your daddy! Happy birthday to my daddy. daddy. Yes. yes. You said birthdays with MC Light and Cardi B. Okay. Well, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Light is a rock. So get your tickets now for the dungeon. Welcome to the dungeon.com. We're going to be in Atlanta on November 19th here at the October. Roxy. Oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, thank 19th. you for correcting me. We're going to be at. October 19th next weekend yes. we're going to be here in Atlanta at the Coca-Cola Roxy Theater and then the next day in New Orleans October 20th at um, oh I forgot the, is go, it? Go, go I forgot yeah just go to yeah. welcome yeah. to the com and get the um, ticket please so <laughs> I forgot the name of the venue but you I'm going to be there and Ply's going to be there and De- uh, Delicious going to be there Tamar Braxton going to be there and Trina oh, the yeah. baddest hey, the is going to be there that's right. Astounding event. You don't know Nan. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. Candy Burris, I guess this morning we'll be back with more morning culture. One of the people. Astounding. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Candy. Thanks, guys. I appreciate Ass- that. Ass- you know y'all almost got me in trouble. You said, you said, so, right? Huh? You said, bitch or bitch? We said baddest. Baddest. It don't matter. She the baddest bitch. Oh, I said she the, the baddest, baddest bitch. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so they don't have to. Okay. No, 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 because I knew. I just wanted to make sure that she And he didn't dump it. So I thought she said bitch. Oh, I don't. I thought she said like I thought I said bitch, but. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I was yeah. Y'all can't say bitch. No. Mm-hmm. I just say bitch. Technically, we can say it after 9 o'clock. Oh. oh. I can say bitch after 9 o'clock. 9 p.m. What? Oh. Oh, technically. Well, I mean, really? Legally, between oh, legally, oh, I didn't know that. You You're coming from you live <laughs> in the <laughs> air chair, bitch. All right, guys. Well, thank you for logging on. Candy. I hope to see you at the dungeon next weekend. Go to the dungeon, guys. Get your tickets. Welcome to the dungeon.com. Love you. Goodbye. Listen. Oh, um, what? I'm going to be at the dungeon, all you sexy, independent, one baby daddy or less.